Oh dear. Holy cow, you startled me. What are you doing out here in the corn? I'm not supposed to be out here. You know, I'm just eyeing it up. Knee high by the 4th of July, not quite there yet. How you been other than that? I've told you this before, stop it with the other joke. What? What? Hey, what's going on? Come on, eyes are up here. Eyes down here. Sorry, I was admiring your rack. What? What is it? I think I heard a car. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh. Oh. So senseless. Oh man, what a rush. Why would you do that? Deer crossing, I had the right away. You know what, it looks like you've been gaining some weight. You need to lay off the grass. You should talk. You look like you put on quite a few yourself. Actually, I found a great spot in the woods. Yeah. There's salt growing on a tree. That doesn't sound natural. They also got a bucket, corn and apples in it. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, you want an apple? I got one for you. Yeah, sure. Huh, you know, if you think this is an apple, you might not want to go back there in the fall. Speaking of which, I was at John and Jane's house the other day. Oh yeah, the does, how are they doing? Jane's looking pretty good. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a wild rut this year. You know, you and your gosh darn promiscuity, I don't agree with that, okay? I'm a polygamous species. I got does in different area codes. Us cattle, we just have one partner for life. Bull. Yeah, tank. You know him? Looks like he's about to wrestle with Tabitha over what there. What the heck he is? Tank, I will grab you by the horns. He's really getting after it. Wow. Sorry. I'd... How dare he? Really? Well, I'm just bucking around. I am not in the mood. You're really milking that. You think that's funny? How would you feel if someone's pulling on your teats all day? There's a lot of pressure to produce, because if I don't, you know what happens to me. Yeah, you got a lot at stake, don't you? Why are you throwing apples like that? I think we just need to relax. Hold on, I got something for you. Found these in the treehouse next to the bait box. Here you go. Nice hooves. They got water there, huh? It actually feels nice on my teats. Yeah, it's days like these. Uh really miss Harold. Yeah, you guys used to hang out a lot together. Yeah, now he's just hanging up at the supper club. Ah. Lost a good one. Pour one out for him. Gone too soon, Harold. Yeah, we lost Bessie too. I bet Harold's looking over her right now, you know, because she's on the dining room table at the supper club. <sighs> lost another. Rest in peace, Bessie. Speaking of Harold, have you seen his brother Francis around lately? I haven't seen him much. Oh, yeah, yeah, Francis. I saw Francis the other day. For some reason, he was sleeping on the side of the interstate. I said, hey there, Francis. That's a weird place to go sleeping. And he didn't say anything back, so, yeah, I didn't want to wake him. Oh, shoot. Hey, what are, what are you doing? You can't uh, eat jerky, are you a cannibal? I stress eat, okay, and, and it's not beef jerky, it's venison. Son. <laughs> what did you, what did you say? Turkey jerky. Is that Harold? Maybe. Harold! <sighs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Don't do this. Why won't you tip? Come on, stop it now. Stop it now, move. Okay, you're right, I'm sorry. Let's say a prayer for Harold, okay? Yeah. All right. Let's do that. Dearly departed. Come on. So roll out the barrel and get the band brewing. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah.